$159 million on surveillance for you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Yeah, they watching. $159 million on surveillance slush funds used to buy facial recognition and x-ray vans. X-ray vans. So when you're standing on the block, you know, it's funny, right? Because that video I put up with me walking through Fordham, dudes talk about he nervous. Nah, I'm on point. You ever been outside? I was having a conversation with somebody, heard some shooting and a body drop next to you. That's what happens where I'm from. But now it's like the mad scientists that basically cast a spell upon our community and they strategically designed death in our, in, in, in our, oh, what you want to call it, in our aquarium, our zoo, our cage, like animals. You caged them like an animal. And the options that you have in this cage called New York, Gotham, they created all of the options that you have, all of the choices, so they know what choices you have now. And it's all caught on tape. Mm -hmm. You're caught on tape. So basically, we already know what's real in the battlefield. The streets is ugly. The streets is over. Right? Everybody got beef. Drill music that came to New York and brought up the murder rate. Drill music that brought the murder rate up. Rap. The frequencies. The 808. The frequencies. When you go outside, come in this January, they let you little monkeys in the jungle have a fields day. Now, it's time for the police to come outside and play. All these young boys out there about to be hunted. All these grown men that just want to travel. See, this is the whole thing about it. Some people feel like, let them little dudes locked up. We got them. Sick and tired of them. But not realizing that there's other people, innocent people, gun laws in New York don't protect, the police don't protect us. So some regular civilians decided to grip up just to make it to and from, to work safely, back home fairly. But guess what? The laws that be passed, they're not. Those laws that's been passed are going to be a problem for you too. So while you on your way to work and the vans is going to buy with the x-ray machine, they get you, they get to see you packing the Mac in the back of the app. These are x-ray machines. They can see through your clothes, clothing, and they can see through your car. So now you have to ask yourself a question. I'd rather be judged by 12, mm -hmm. a jury of 12, after you get locked up, or you're gonna have six people carrying your casket because you got caught without your ratchet. You choose. Anthony, sup, bro? You got love on here in North Carolina. Shout out to North Carolina. Shout out to my family in Wilmington. Watch the show Point of Interest based in New York. Y'all don't even understand, man. Mass incarceration. Mm -hmm is about to be at an all-time high in New York. Let me take this. Mass incarceration is about to be at an all-time high in New York. But I don't think y'all understand, right? You already at war and don't even realize it. You got the medicated is the unmedicated and the powers to be watching. Germany just locked down the whole Germany 
for the unmedicated, right? For the unmedicated. Scott, we be you family as well. For the unmedicated. Already playing out and conquer with us. All of these little soldiers about to be legal, right? Tell them to definitely go. All these little soldiers. No. I can't even call them that. Call them little disasters. That the Moniquas and the Shaniquas gave birth to, running around, airing the hood out without a care in the world. All the little K blocks and D things. That's pushing more well of even all the causing all of our children to die on the battlefield. Because the reality of it is, it is what it is. These little dudes is committing genocide on each other. They relatives, K flock, D thing, right? And these adults is not getting in these little in, in these dudes' ears. It's like, who's raising y'all? Y'all waging war amongst each other and y'all going to jail. And that's the bottom line to that. The bottom line. I don't even understand how the mothers of these little dudes. Sit and watch the bodies drop. The bodies dropping all over New York. They sit back and they watch these bodies drop. And then they watch their kids get on the internet in front of the TV and get on the internet and claim the bodies. Like, hold up. Where, yo, where they do that at? Back in the days, mamas used to be outside. Not my baby. My little Bobby Boucher wouldn't do that. Now the little bitch ass niggas is putting the shit all over the internet. And everybody is seeing what's going on in the black, dead. The dark cloud over the black, the dead community. The community of stolen people who don't have no land. The community of stolen people that don't have no milk and honey. You're being hung. You for who? How, how Killer Kev used to say? Who fooled? You fooled. You fooled. Oh, Simity Sam coming for you, Bugs Bunny. It's over. Like, y'all don't even understand. Read the headlines. You can put everything that's going on together like a puzzle. Let's read the headlines. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Huh? I'm going to connect all these dots. I know sometimes dots could be all over the place. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has asked their people to limit their food intake and eat less to 2025 in view of the soaring food crisis in the country. Are you paying attention to what's going on? I'm not really getting off the topic. I just can't. America's not telling Americans that we out of food. America's going farmland and making farmers produce less food. Oh, something, something just ain't right. Let's do the math. One plus one equal two. Two plus two equal four. Why are y'all trying to stop farmers from producing more food? Right. Because somebody wants you to starve. What do you think is going to happen? In New York City. A city. That has 19 million people. Packed on top of each other. Like rats. Animals in a cage. What do you think is going to happen? In a city of 19 million people. Whenever. The evil mad scientist who's playing these pharmaceutical games with us.